Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and it is Sunday so I am here with Scrap Lift Crafter Noon, a hop where we find inspiration and then scrap lift it and this inspiration is to celebrate a birthday because it is the wonderful Tara which is Kryptonite72 on Instagram but the paper snob here on YouTube and we they selected this one. It's got a lot of color, which of course I love. And so I am going to do my very best, although mine is kind of quite different, <laughs> but the same concept. I've got lots of odds and ends of embellishments and a little six by six paper pad. I'm bringing in a bunch of um, mixed media, some different inks to add in some color. And um, I have two pictures from the baby name reveal for my daughter um, about almost two weeks ago. So, um, I have papers, lots of papers. I've already cut out some words to put down out of that little six by six paper pad for my Cricut. So I have my papers. I have some embellishments. I will bring a few more in and my inks as well as my pictures and this awesome layout that Tara has done. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so her, you are your own sun rainbow, or I think is what it says, you are your own rainbow, yeah, is a die cut that she backed, and I remember her doing it. It took time, and I love it. Anything rainbow makes me happy. I decided that uh, I was just going to cut the word baby out over and over again um, in rainbow colors because I hate backing die cuts, and because I didn't have one that would work for me and I really wanted to document these pictures and I figure if I went with the rainbow theme because we went with the rainbow theme at the baby name reveal I felt like it was perfect so a lot of the inks that I use are delusions um, ink sprays they're not shimmer sprays I use post box for the red and squeezed orange and then I also used lemon zest. And then I did use a Distress Oxide and Lucky Clover. And then I used Blueprint um, Sketch, from uh, which is also a Distress. And then I also used um, Villainous Potion. So the first three are just Delusion inks. And the other three are Distress Oxides. Just because they were the ones that had the color that worked best for what I wanted. So, like I said, I found this on my Cricut. And it actually was... Um, written three times and I just made six of them in all different all the six different colors on my six by six paper that way if I was doing mad about many paper pads if it all collided together at the same time that'd be lovely because I used seven eight pieces of the six by six paper so um, but anyway so I put the red you know orange yellow green blue and purple down I wanted them to be in different patterns but um, I should have picked a different yellow because it kind of looks uh, a little funky in person. It's fine, but in video on the video, it's a little bit harder to tell because it had like big hexagons or something cut out. Like there's triangles and hexagons is the big picture, um, but because of that, there's a bunch of white. So the other paper that um, was in that pad was a little bit more yellowy. I should have gone with that, but I wasn't thinking about that when I created the original pieces, but that's okay. I did mat my two pictures on a different color, or it's a different um, pattern of green and purple, and the top picture is my daughter and um, her boyfriend, and we had them come in after the name was figured out and revealed, and they got to come in and figure out uh, all the information they needed about their little baby. And the second picture is them hugging after they found out. And of course, my daughter said, I knew it. <laughs> so they had a name picked out for either. And um, so in the end, Apollo is my future grandchild's name. I'm very excited. And I'm sure you'll be hearing and seeing that. And I'll probably have lots of space uh, themed layouts in the future for my new grandson and so you know anyway um so in Tara's um cut die cut it's got that rainbow over there to the side which is gorgeous and I needed something in that space and nothing that I had was like the embellishments I brought in are all little so originally I thought I'd do like a handprint 
um, rainbow down there, but that didn't work with what I had. So I just got out a old school um, punch and punched a bunch of butterflies out of the scraps that I had left over from the paper I used to make the words. And I made a bunch of butterflies and then I just made a little rainbow coming down between the green and the blue right under that picture of the butterflies. I actually really like the way that it turned out, but uh, it took me an hour and 20 minutes to do this layout because I sat in hem hod forever trying to figure out what in the blue blazes I was going to do down there because that's what happens when you have ADHD and you don't like, you know, plan any further than I want to use up these embellishments and then, you know, the words down the side. It's fine. In the end, I love it. It's definitely different than Tara's. Um, that right above the two pictures, she's got like that big cluster with some florals. And right now I've just got that little yellow handprint. I'm going to add a couple of things there. And then um, like I felt like it was still missing something. So I'm going to add a little bit more in that top right corner. But I really do enjoy the way this turned out. It is not... Um, it's definitely different <laughs> than Tara's, but that's okay. Um, and like I said, I do love the way that it turns out, and that's the most important part. And I used a bunch of these old school little handprints and um, like the stars and hearts and stuff like that. Like some of these stickers I have had probably since my daughter was born. You know, the one in this picture who's having a baby, and she's 22. So, you know. <laughs> uh, so I just used this little um, glue stick to put all these little stars and stuff down when i cut the word baby out the it had these little um stars that cut with it and so you're gonna see those when you do the i uh, do the up close you'll see those kind of scattered around and then all the embellishments i found that i felt worked um with the layout i am excited about the way it turned out i love um, getting all the stuff used up and getting all this color on the layout. You all will be seeing plenty, I'm sure, from this fun little uh, name reveal. We had a good old time and I've got a bunch of pictures. Um, so hopefully you'll be seeing a little bit more of me. Please go check out Tara. I adore her. The Paper Snob is her um, YouTube channel. She makes some of the most amazing layouts. She stitches on a lot of them. She puts a lot into her layouts, a lot of detail, and a lot of really gorgeous things um, come out of her um, crafty space. So she just moved. So give her some time because I don't know how much she's got going on right now, but I know she's a busy girl. Um, so... Also, go check out the rest of the ladies who are hopping along and celebrating Tara's birthday. Happy birthday to my very darling friend. I love you so much. I don't know what I'd do without you. I hope that you all have a fabulous day. And I hope that you get a chance today to do something you love with someone you love. Happy scrapping. <laughs>